Hello there, thank you for stopping by in the clinic. Um, so, you feel as though your eyelashes again are turning inwards and are touching the globe of the eye, causing some irritation, foreign body feeling and just general annoyance. So, looking back at your history, um, this isn't the first time this has happened. Um, we've seen you before on multiple occasions to have the lashes epilated in practice. Uh, we've never had to refer you to the eye hospital. Um, the problems has, have always occurred in both eyes. And uh, today I'm just going to have a little look again to see if we need to epilate any of those lashes, upper or lower. Okay, so the first thing, as always, I like to do is to just check your vision before we get into the root cause of the problem. So I'm going to cover your left eye with this occluder. I'm going to hold up a letter chart here. Now I just want you to read out the letters that you can see going from left to right, please. Keep going. Okay, try the bottom row. Okay, let's switch to your left eye cover the right eye here. Okay, starting from the top, this time going left, sorry, this time right to left. Just read down the chart, again to the smallest row that you can read. Okay, so we have good vision there. It's a very good start. Uh, one of the causes for the lashes touching the eye, which medically we call this trichiasis. This is called trichiasis when the lashes turn inwards, touch the surface of the cornea and the conjunctiva. Uh, one of the causes could be the lids turning inwards, and this is known as entropion. Entropion. So let me have a little look at uh, the upper and lower lid margins of the right eye, just grossly. We can certainly uh, incorporate the slit lamp with the examination too. Um, doesn't seem to be any gross signs of entropion on the right. And looking along the margins of the left, snap back test snap back okay back to the left now obvious signs of entropion so, but it does look as though the lashes are 100% turning inwards so I'm going to try and epilate some of those lashes for you let's have a look at equipment we have on hand. Now we have these uh, specially uh, sterilised tweezers for you. Now the beauty of these is uh, because they uh, come out at an angle here less chance of me um, catching the globe of the eye and causing any damage, which I definitely don't want to do. Um, so, you'll be hearing some gentle plucking sounds and we'll finish off the job with the slit lamp. So looking up for me please, let's aim for some of these on the lower margin now. looking up, just let go of the lid there. Looks 
Excellent. Have a little breather. Right, you need to look down now. Have to epilate some on the upper lid margin. I'll to just turn the upper lid just slightly to bring the lashes towards me. let go of the lid there. Coming at a slightly different angle here. Keep looking down. Excellent. And have another breather. some uh, notes. So negative for entropian, upper and lower lid. Epilated lashes, upper and lower. Vision. One six. Oh, sorry, one. Um, two point five. One two point five. And now we'll turn our attention to the left. Now, if you could please look up to the ceiling. Okay, now are you still feeling any foreign body sensations on the eyes now that they've been epilated? Okay, so just mildly but improved. Okay, so there's just a little bit of uh, foreign body sensation remaining. It's a good start. Certainly need to assess the corneas later. Okay, let's pop these away. And now I think we're going to use these um, specific um, pointy tweezers here for some more work on the slit lamp. So just make your way over to the chair over here. So are you seated comfortably there? Okay, so before we begin uh, epilating any final eyelashes, I'm just going to show you uh, the grading scale we're going to be using today. It's going to be the Efron grading scale. So once any final lashes have been removed, we'll be checking things like your ocular uh, redness here. Uh, we can certainly check the limbal redness here. Uh, we'll certainly be popping some fluorescein dye into the eyes and checking for any um, corneal staining, see whether those lashes have caused any damage on the window to the eye. And um, we can also um, evert your lids. Have a little look at the uh, palpebral surface 
using the Efron grading scale there. So there are a range of things we can check for you. Okay. But first, um, you're seated comfortably. I'm going to set up the slit lamp. system straight ahead um, just bring the white light into play okay just check the focus um, just pop your chin on the chin rest head against the top please lovely okay let's just have a little look um, for naughty lashes that might still be turning inwards okay just look up look down for me please Okay, yeah, there are a couple of lashes there to be epilated. Okay, so just start by looking up, please. I'm going to view everything through the slit lamp. to the left okay not much bulbar redness there that's a good sign so for the right eye we're looking at a diffused grade one limbal redness um, mild at grade two okay let's switch to the left eye Pop yourself back on the slit lamp chin rest. Head against the top, please. Okay, yep. Now look up. Okay, and look down. Okay. Come from the left side. Okay, just a few more to epilate. Okay, just looking down for me. Final few on the upper of the left to epilate. Have a 
browser inspection. Just look up now, let's lower the left lid. Just looking at the um, palpebral conjunct over there. That's fine. Over to the right. Looking up again, please. The lower lid, the palpebral conjunctiva, it's clear. Minimal hyperemia there, that's good. Excellent, so we need to assess the corneal integrity now. Let's prepare the uh, fluorescein dye, doesn't stink, um, it won't affect your sight as it goes in. drops on the strip here. Super. Looking up to the ceiling, it's going to be the slightest dab on the inferior conjunctiva in the right. We're going to switch to the blue lights. Full brightness. Maximum beam width. Just going to incorporate a filter to give us a better visualization of the corneal surface. And we just need to dim the room lights. <coughs> Okay, just place your chin on the chin rest again. I'm just going to review the cornea here. Take a blink. Stop looking at all uh, five zones of the cornea there. Um, there doesn't appear to be any staining, so those lashes haven't caused uh, any abrasions on the most important um, part of the eye there, in terms of the uh, anterior structures. Thank you. Okay, we're just going to go to the left eye, let's bring the magnification back ok, looks straight take a big blink and then stare let's just assess those corneal zones there Wonderful, looking clear. Just have a brief check with the green light. Look straight. Take a blink. Marvellous. For the right eye, keep looking straight. Blink. Blink again. And that's looking fine. Uh, so, um, yep, yeah, all the ashes are. Okay, so all the lashes have been removed. Um, I'm going to ask you to return if this problem recurs. Um, I will do the same thing again, essentially. Um, so that's everything today. I'll pop the lights on and then you can leave the clinic um, safe in the knowledge that there are no lashes at the moment um, touching the globe of the eye. Uh, thank you.